Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look at the guaranteed team of the season SBC today, the EFL SBC that came out. I'm gonna talk about that and the market movements that we saw because of it. Uh, and stuff that we're actually seeing tonight, early morning UK, UK time, as I'm uh, on foot right now and loading up this game. But this SBC did cause some movements today. I wanna talk about it and also kind of share what I think this means for the upcoming days and the community team of the season guaranteed and what i think ea really has a different agenda this year with team of the season and what they're trying to do with these cards because they learned from last year especially from a trader sense and a trader standpoint it seems like they're really trying to limit the amount of rise on these cards out of packs in my opinion um because they're centralizing so much at the end of the whole entire week so um that is a very interesting thing that I think I want to talk about a little bit today. But of course, the EFL SBC, uh, I did mine and I got the Welsh left back. I think his name is, um, what is his name? Jacobson. I got Jacobson from my pack. So I got an 85 rated Tots card, uh, 15,000 coin card. And I turned in a squad that was like worth uh, 13K. So basically broke even. I got an SBC card that I'll be able to turn in uh, for a um sbc down the line and that's the thing with a lot of these cards is that basically if you did this sbc today you basically picked up on an sbc fodder card most of you guys did except if you got mateus perea phillips mitrovic or, or benarama some of these other guys are usable right like ajay in this uh ek way are pretty they're usable even williams um but they're just not like amazing right and a lot of guys are asking me if you can invest in these let me talk about this as well the whole point of the, the SBC today, this is how I view it. The whole point of this SBC that was put out today of the guaranteed EFL TOTS, the reason why EA made it so cheap, it says 20K, but you can do it for less than that. Um, the reason why they made it this cheap is um, to just supply people's clubs with Team of the Season cards. Basically, what they did today was they gave people a free Team of the Season card. People knew they weren't going to get anything sick from this, right? But everybody still did it because you had a chance to get Phillips, Perea, you know, one of these high rated guys. And even if you get an 87 or an 86 or above, you technically made your money back. Even an 85, you could say that you made your money back uh, because the SBC was so cheap. So they just reeled everybody in today with that because it was cheap. And the reason they do that is to stop the rise on these cards um, when they're required again for SBCs in the future. So they're supplying them out on the market. Um, Example, there's another example of this is EA making these cards available in packs for 10 days. They're going to be in packs during lightning rounds again this weekend. So even more supply for these cards um, because EA is undoubtedly going to be requiring them down the line for more TOTS guaranteed SBCs. They're going to require you to put in a team of the season. So the longer they keep cards like this in packs, the discard ones, the more they supply them, the less the rise out of packs because uh, EA doesn't want traders to make coins. And that's, you know, they haven't actually come out and said that, but a lot of this stuff they do on this market points in that direction, um, which is also what I think they're trying to do with this team of the season, the community tots uh, cards as well, which right now, uh, these cards in the last like hour or so, I don't know what the reason is right now on the market. I was just live streaming and we were looking at a lot of these cards. PK was 225 an hour ago. He was just 200k flat. Casemiro was just 110k. Tiago was 110k. Uh, Brandt is 169,000 coins right now. Um, these prices might not be the same when you guys are watching this. Um, then, you know, it's a couple hours after I'm recording, but I mean, look at this man. Brandt literally a couple hours ago was 180k and he's down in the 160s. I don't know why there is panic selling on these cards. I don't know if people think. The guaranteed TOTS SBC is coming today on Wednesday. Uh, but my feeling is that it is definitely not, especially since we got the guaranteed EFL today. I feel like it's not a guaranteed, but I think the highest percentage chance for us to get the guaranteed community SBC is going to be on Thursday. And it makes sense for EA and what they're trying to do with the market as well. If they put that SBC out on Thursday, what you have is, you have reward supply from people opening their rewards and people opening their elite packs uh, and getting these cards tradable in them. You have all that supply coming on Thursday from rewards. Then you have this pack SBC uh, that comes out then. And you have maybe people that are panic selling because they think they're going to pack uh, one of these cards from that SBC. 
Uh, so you have a ton and a ton of supply on that day. Maybe you cause some people to lose coins. Um, but then the next day, you have a whole other team of the season coming out. So then people maybe don't buy up these community team of the seasons as much just because they're all hyped up for the next day and what's coming out with the next set of team of the season cards. I really think that's why EA is making this SBC uh, when it actually is. And PK is right now basically back up to 216,000 coins. So these cards fluctuate a ton, as we can tell. Um, they fluctuate a lot on the market. But uh, yeah, that's why I think they're, they're setting up the SBCs this way. And a lot of people said, yo, Nate, the SBC has to come today because if they put it out, it's going to be available or it's not going to expire before Prem Tots starts. I don't think that's a problem for EA. I don't think they mind that overlapping that SBC a little bit because ultimately if they put that SBC out on Thursday, right? Guaranteed Tots community on Thursday. 90% of the people that are going to do that SBC in the entire world, I would have to imagine, are going to do it on Thursday. Within that, you know, even 12 hour period, the first 12 hours on Thursday, that's probably what they're going to do, right? So that's why I see them doing this SBC on Thursday to try to stop some of the rise from these cards. Now it could backfire on them. It could absolutely backfire on them because I think a lot of these TOTS cards have the potential, even though they're supplied a lot, they're so freaking cheap then I think they're going to rise out of packs decently nice. And I think Thursday is now definitely our time to buy these cards. The time specifically is going to be, is it going to be earlier on in the day? Is it going to be later on in the day? That's going to be tough to decipher because weekend league rewards come out before 6 p.m. UK. So you might have an influx of supply, but then you might have a little bit of panic selling because of the guaranteed SBC coming out. But I think Thursday is going to be our time for these cards. And a lot of them, the really meta ones, that are, you know, more end game and just more hyped up that, you know, maybe are more rare in their position with their league and nationality will rise up pretty quickly into Friday. You might see a bit of a bounce there and then continue going up because Prem Tots cards are not going to be anywhere near close to these low prices, man. Fernandinho, 223K, not bad at all. Fernandinho on Friday, if it is Prem Tots, which it should be, this Fernandinho card literally might be one of the three cheapest Premier League cards or four cheapest Premier League cards on Friday uh, when when Premier League Tots comes out. It, it seriously might be one of the cheapest, maybe even one of the cheapest three. Uh, because last year we had everybody was above like 300,000 coins on day one, I think, except for Madison and Doherty. Um, and yeah, so I think that Fernandinho is going to be a nice riser out of packs as a Premier League card. Even Zaha, Felipe Anderson should do well. Brandt has some hype. Thiago has some hype. PK and Casemiro. I think a lot of these guys have potential to do good. Um, by the way, if you have not bought a Courtois or a Busquets and put it in your club, you should right now go out and do that because a 93 rated card for 83,000 coins. The 90 rated Oblock got over 100k the last time we had an Icon SBC. So, uh, you know, picking yourself up a Courtois. I think I have a couple Busquets on my transfer list. I did this last year. Busquets ended up going to 130k at one point during team of the season because of upgrade SBCs that were put out. So if you can get this guy as close to 80k as possible, uh, I think he's even cheaper on the Xbox, like 75k on the Xbox. That's just an incredible buy in my opinion. 86k for Busquets right now on the PlayStation. And Courtois is under 90 as well. Basically, if you get any of these guys like under 90k, I think it's a really good deal because... Uh, these guys are going to become SBC fodder really, really quick. And I think I might pick myself up another Courtois here if I can. That said 91K. I'd like to get it under 90 if possible. Uh, but Thursday is going to be a great time to pick these up as well because the fodder guys could go a bit lower uh, before 6 p.m. UK with the, with the new um, guaranteed SBC. I, to me, boys, I think the guaranteed SBC is going to be on Thursday. That's my thought with it. So... We're really going to want to watch these cards on Thursday and see if they do rebound a bunch, which I think the possibility is there. And the possibility for them to rebound even more uh, is going to happen later in the weekend or maybe, you know, after the first couple hours of lightning round, lightning rounds coming on to FIFA on Friday for Prem Tots, just because people are going to see that the new Prem cards are so overpriced and they are just very, very expensive. So some of these guys, as they hit a low point, if you want them for your team or if you want to buy a couple for an out-of-packs investment, I think the opportunity is absolutely there. Just pick the meta ones, right? Lucas Lieva, eh, not that really, not meta. 
Um, you know, Gulashi is an SBC investment, 40K for an 89 rated. Um, Moussa Dembele is an 89 rated French striker. Uh, that a lot of casuals can go out and buy this card. I think this card's going to be a nice one out of packs, to be honest with you, because just his ability uh, to be a French striker in Ligue 1, people probably play him with Ben Yedder, honestly. I think people will play this card with Ben Yedder. Uh, you know, we have Bakioko that was out recently. So this guy, if, if you see him under 80K, that's disgraceful in my opinion. This is also, this is already a disgraceful price in my eyes, 84K for this card. I mean, this Future Stars Dembele, which it's not a crazy big upgrade, but, you know, plus three pace, plus four shooting, not bad. I mean, you look at the guy's card stats as well. He's got four-star skills. He's got 94 finishing, good agility and balance. You throw you throw a chem style on there, you maybe a sniper or something like that, and uh, it's a crazy-looking card. So I know he's got a three-star weak foot, but that's going to be a card that I think rises out of packs really well as well. So, yeah, just watch some of those prices on Thursday. Even today, if by some reason they drop the guaranteed SBC today, um... I, I think that might be our time to get in. We'll see based on the amount of panic. I'll be tweeting out my thoughts on that if that does happen, of course, on Twitter. But let's look at the fodder side of things because, again, I want to talk to you guys about SBC fodder and what happened today with the EFL Tots because I know a lot of you guys have SBC fodder right now. You don't know what to do with it. Should I hold it? Should I buy more? This is what happened today, right? I think word got out that the SBC was going to drop. And look what happened. He massive, massive rise. People thought that since it didn't come on Monday, then it was surely going to happen on Tuesday. And it did. And 84, the index 84 actually hit its peak an hour and a half before the SBC came out. The SBC came out at 6 p.m. and 84 has actually dropped, I think, because it didn't make it 84 rated. Um, that's partially why you saw the drop. So, you know, 84s aren't like that low. They're still a bit inflated. 83s though they did go up a bit although they were infl a lot of people bought look at this man this this buying starts early in the morning uk time rises up all day to the content drop drop time it's a peak three hours after content drop and then it's kind of stayed there but that's because it's an 83 rated squad and you need the 83s now i want to look at a different market index this is the index 86 all right look at this drop in price 86s are almost buyable again um 16,000 coins, 17K for some of these 86s. If you did not get in the first time, which was me, uh, this is, I did not get in in the first time. This, this is not terrible prices for what we're seeing right now in foot. I don't know what the whole, I don't know why these cards are still maintaining a 17, 18K price for the 86s or like a 25K for the 87s. I feel like this should be 15K right now and 20K. I don't know what the deal is. There's not a ton of great SBCs out, just some okay ones. Uh, but I think that just there's so many people on the game and the SBCs are what they can do right now. That's why you're seeing these cards. So if you want to get in on fodder, if you hadn't already, or if you want to buy more, this is an opportunity for you to do that. Since, I mean, these guys were 20K this morning. Now they're down to 17, 18K again. So I would just do a club stock if you haven't done anything. I probably should go out and try to get these guys on bid at 16K. Some of these at 23, 24, and just do a club stock because um, there's going to be a point where this stuff just goes high again. We're going to get the community tots. Everybody's going to want to do that. That SBC should be around 86 or 87 rated at the most. So you might see the 86s go up a decent amount then. Uh, but there's also a lot of investing on these cards, man. There's a lot of people that are unassigned that have bought up on these cards. So if you have people that are investing a lot, that's why I only want to do myself a club stock. I don't want to get caught up in um, buying cards and trying to invest and being unassigned. And what's going to happen is everybody who bought all this fodder is going to be looking to make coins. It is a guaranteed SBC. But again, we're talking about guaranteed SBC for community team this season, not that hype of cards. So people are still going to do it. Yes. And the price are going to rise, but you're also going to have a lot of people that are going out and panic selling some of those investments. So I would just do a club stock at most. If you're going to go you know, harder on anything in terms of a investment. I'm still shouting this guy out because he went even cheaper today. Footman was saying he was 24K at one point. Anything under 26 in the 25s, wow, he he's under 25K. That's where I guess you have to buy this car right now. That's crazy, man. 25K or below for Javi Martinez is fantastic in my opinion. Uh, Perisic as well, I think is around a similar price. Um, I'm just going to sort by Cam. I think I have one of these in the club. I might not though. Um, these guys are both fantastic investments. 
out of packs because of um, their links. Okay, Perisic is a little bit more, 27K, but uh, I don't mind that at all just because of their links that they get. And they're, this is a usable card, man, and he's currently SBC fodder, which is pretty crazy to me. So if you want to pick up some fodder, you know, 86s and above, be my guest for a club stock only. If you have 83s or 84s and you haven't sold yet, 83s are all 2,000 coins, even like the really cheap goalkeepers, like I think Jarstein is up here at 2,000 coins. This is an absolute sell time for those. Um, just because when Jarstein is 2K, you sell because usually he's 1K and you're doubling your coins if you invested in him. So I would sell the 83s, to be honest. 82s, the cheapest 82s in this game are even 1,000 coins a piece. So, I mean, if you bought 82s at like 750, um, look at this. Tere is like 1,000 coins, 1.1K. So I would even cash out on those because you want to be cashed out on a lot of the fodder. Because by Friday, when we have lighting rounds again, the fodder is going to dip low again. It's Prem team of the season. More saved up packs are going to be opened in the first hour of lighting rounds for sure on Friday. And we're going to have a similar situation to maybe what we had last Friday with some stuff getting low first hour in terms of like fodder, in terms of maybe some of the TOTS cards. And we'll talk more about that later this week uh, about some of that. But um, the last thing that I want to leave you guys with is um, just the fact about rewards this week. I don't know if I'm going to do Thursday flips. I don't know if I'm going to do Thursday flips. I'm going to save a lot of my coins for Friday. And I want to just kind of sneak peek this and talk about this a little bit and just kind of get this in your guys' minds. I think that a lot of the panic on Friday, um, there's so many people that are going to be sitting down ready to invest on cards on Friday morning. So I think you guys actually want to be looking at stuff Thursday night Last week, some cards were actually their cheapest um, during like early morning hours UK, like nighttime US, because there was nobody buying then. Everybody wakes up on Friday and is like, okay, this is our time to buy because the cards are getting panic sold. Some of the cheapest points for some cards, not all, some cards was last week. But so many people, and even myself, have been talking about the Friday morning panic for this Friday in foot. I would just be careful with that um, because... There's going to be a lot of people that are looking to buy panic sold cards. You're going to have a lot of competition on buying. So honestly, getting in early, uh, or if you think there's going to be more panic after they drop the prem tots, um, you know, Friday morning is just going to be an interesting time for out of pack special cards. A lot of people are going to want to buy into them for their teams and just to make coins. So that's my little tidbit on that. We'll talk about more of that this week as well. Also, last minute thing on this week's team of the week. Um, I think these higher tier guys are actually decently investable. Let me get back here to all the way to Team League Moments 32. We are not getting another Team of the Week, although supposedly on Footbin, there's this uh, informed Fabian that is showing up in the code right now. I don't know if that's supposed to be an SBC today. We'll find out at 6 p.m. Um, but we're not getting a Team of the Week today on Wednesday. And I think some of these guys are pretty low and they're being overlooked. Koulibaly, Firmino, Benzema, Griezmann, and Aubameyang. This Aubameyang card is actually really rare. Look at the supply on this Aubameyang on PS4, bro. On PS4, this man has how many pages of supply? Seven pages as an inform that went through lightning rounds last week. This guy at 300k or below, I would like to say 290, but he's probably not going to be, uh, he's probably not going to stay that much, that much higher soon because he's going out of packs. It may be a little bit of panic selling Thursday night into Friday as well. I think that's a really good pickup. Prem strikers are always always heavily desired in this game. And if he gets a tots, that's going to bring attention to his name. So that's a nice market talk video today, talking about the guaranteed SBCs and what could be happening these next few days with fodder and everything like that. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.